Well, all right. I know we got a different angle right now, but just it's almost so much it's overwhelming. Um, I think we counted 45 box figures uh, that were here all different kinds. I think we have horror, we have Kiss, uh, anime, the Beatles. Uh, I have one Doors. I have one here that's uh, a Western figure. It says uh, Legends of the Wild West. It's Jesse James. Uh, pick that up. That's pretty interesting. Uh, it's got like a looks like a, a a bank bag in there with like money and a pistol on the side. That's pretty cool. Um, one Star Wars figure here, uh, Revenge of the Sith from 2005. Um, this, oh, I did have an Elvis as well that was in there. Uh, you can see here that's Elvis. So I had uh, actually here Spawn, the Spawn figure, it's a Magnus series. Pretty cool. I'm telling you, I didn't realize everything that was in there. I just saw all of it in the box. Um, she just said make a make an offer, and, and I did. And then after we got through, such a nice lady. Um, she showed me, as you can see, inside of her uh, trailer. She had a lot more she wanted to go through, so I left her my contact information. And uh, we'll have a follow-up video on that when she contacts me. I told her I'll buy every one that she has. Um, I think that she she needed some some money and stuff, and I think I gave her a fair offer for it. Uh, a lot more than she she had taken some to a a local store, and they offered her way they lowballed her really bad. And um, you know they got to make money as well, so I understand that. But <clears throat> I was able to offer her a little more uh, for them, and uh, I was happy. I've got a lot of uh, potential profit on these. Like I said, some of them I want to keep. Um, a lot of horror in here. My son was freaking out over it. So there's uh, Friday the 13th um, right here. Uh, pretty cool there. Friday the 13th, um, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Yeah, that's kind of gruesome. Uh, Scream. You don't remember that, man, from the 90s there. Uh, Scream. When watched uh, everyone in the movies. Anybody here go to the movie theater and see that? Uh, I think I was. Were we married or were we dating? Dating during that time? We we're dating, all right. So that was one of the date night movies that we went and saw. Uh, oh, here's a cool one, man. If you're Freddy Krueger, Nightmare on the M Street. There's one there. Um, Psycho. Uh, we have. The Thing. Oh, here's another classic. I went and saw this at the movies a couple times. And even back in the day, they had the, I think it was a 50 cent movie that you could go to that were the older movies. I went and watched it again, but classic here, The Crow, right? So that was a really good one. I'm probably gonna, I'm gonna keep that one. Saw that together too, right? Um, here is Marvel Legends, The Punisher. That over here with Spawn. Got old Elvis over here. I'll put him over here. Uh, oh, here's another great one. I went and watched this in the movie theater as well. Uh, it's even got the price tag from uh, EB. So here is a Terminator 2 Judgment Day. Really nifty, really nifty that. I like it. Um, some more, let's see. We got Kiss. I uh, got. Okay. I thought I had more Kiss than, than was in there. Uh, I'm not a big Kiss um, collector, so, and I'm not too sure. There's kind of saturated the market with the Kiss stuff, but I'm kind of glad it was limited on the Kiss in here and a little more on, on the other. She did have some more Kiss. I'll probably still pick it up, but if you're a Kiss collector, man, we, we've got what you need. Psycho Circus, we've got quite a few of those, so here's one here, Psycho Circus. Uh, Take a look at some of the other Psycho Circus. There's uh, another one there. Some of these boxes were bent and stuff, so she realized that. Um, so some of them I'm not going to be able to get uh, full value for, but still they're, they're in the package. Um, somebody will like them, I'm sure. Now let's see what else. Some more here. Another one. Psycho Circus, and I think here's Gene, uh, I 
right here. So there's the Psycho Circus. And then we have uh, four KISS live um, figures. So here we go. And then, ah, it's pretty cool. It's got the stack on it, the amp. And all there's one. Gene Simmons here. Oh, uh, this tongue hanging out. I mean, uh, you know, you know how that goes. Here he is there. And is this Paul? No. There you go. So those are the Kiss Alive um, that we did get. I'm telling you, there's so much here. I don't want to bore you with everything, but may maybe you want to. Uh, like I said, I might skip through some of this, but I wanted to show you. Here's another horror, Army of Darkness. Uh, Candyman, oh my lord. Remember that, Candyman? Um, how about Pumpkinhead? As I can see, they're everywhere, man, I'm telling you. Uh, another one that I'm probably gonna keep. Terminator 2. Oh, uh, no. I'll be back. Terminator. And then there's one more, excuse me, I'll step over here. Uh, this one's uh, Blair Witch. That's there. So I'm not a big horror fan, but I know a lot of people are. I know they got that um, video game that's out. Um, my son plays that game a lot. Uh, what's the name of that game? Ah, anyway. Uh, Jim Morrison, man, of the Doors. That is a neat figure. I probably will keep that as well. I like the Doors. Um, a lot of the music stuff, other than Kiss, I, I wasn't a big Kiss fan. I know that's probably going to be crazy to some people. I've got quite a few of their uh, vinyl and CDs, but I'm not a big, big Kiss fan. I like some of their songs. But the Doors, I, I really like that. Did get a lot of these. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six of the Beatles. Yellow Submarine. So we got those. I'm running out of room here. Uh, let's see. So we got four of those. And then some of the, uh, they had some anime ones. I didn't realize those were in there. Uh, Akira. Pretty, pretty cool there. I know I'm using the word cool out a lot. Uh, I've got to expand my vocabulary, right? Uh, let's see here. Trigon, and then I think he's got the bike with it too, in the box. All right, that's pretty cool. The chains and all that's on it. I'm gonna step over here. Here, there's the bike. Like I said, this is just a really, for me, this is the first time I've ever scored anything like this out on a pick. Um, you never know what you're going to run into. So here's here's another one, man. Um, GI Joe. So we did get some GI Joe stuff. That's what really caught my eye when I was looking. Uh, I don't remember Joe. GI Joe, a real American hero. Um, they had a lot of loose figures, and they had a couple um, box figures that were out. And then when I started piling them up. The lady came to me and she said, listen, I've got a lot more if you'd like to look at. And I didn't get that on film because I didn't plan on filming this today. We were starting this channel and uh, my son, my youngest son is, is a part of this and he's off at football camp right now. He's missing out on it. So I wasn't planning on filming without him, but I just couldn't pass up getting this on, on, uh, on film here and getting it recorded because it's just, you don't find these too much. You don't have a, a find like this a lot. So I saw these loose figures, and she told me, I'm going to pick these up over here. So they're in Ziploc bags, and I wish she hadn't done it. She said that the boxes were kind of damaged, so she went ahead and took them out. So I've got some original Joe figures here. There's one, uh, two, three. I don't think they're, I don't think they're original. I think they might be, I can't, I don't have my glasses. There's three, and there's four. Um, loose Joes. I don't know what this figure is. It just looked really interesting. Uh, excuse my ignorance on it. 
but I wanted to pick him up anyway. If you know who that is, just comment below for me and let me know who that is. All right. And then some of the Joe stuff in the box. This was pretty neat. Uh, Joe versus Cobra. It's a build set, kind of like Legos, but not Lego. It is Hasbro. It's a Locus. And she had all these stickers on there. I'm going to take them off with prices so that she had for the yard. So I didn't pay the full price for them. I did get a bundle deal with them. Really neat Joe stuff in the box. Man. Hard to come by. Here's one, man. Stalker. In the box. In there. And then some special editions that she had. These. Here's a limited edition Joe. Uh, the U.S. Airborne Ranger. I'll open that up so you can see there. I'm trying to make sure you can see it right. The D-Day Salute. All these boxes, these boxes have a little wear to them, but man, they're still, everything's intact. These are going to make somebody really happy, I'm sure. And I really like this one. This is the G.I. Joe uh, Shuttle Astronaut Com Commemorative G.I. Joe. And that's just neat right there. And, uh, yeah, so that's kind of what we got. Oh, I did get some loose turtles. They're over here. So we got... Uh, some loose turtles here. Anyway, great find.